Welcome to The Boiling Point. I'm Richie Ware. This is Steve Taylor. Steven, again, is our rental manager and also a longtime boiler guy. And I thought today we'd talk about something that's very common and every boiler should be doing, and that's blowdown. So tell me a little bit about blowdown and why we do it. Um, whenever you have a lot of water going through the boiler, you have chemicals you're adding to it, you're creating sludge. The chemicals in there keep everything suspended. Eventually, that stuff's going to fall to the bottom of the boiler. At some point, you need to open the valves. you got to flush that out to keep it from building up and causing problems in the boiler itself. Now this is a thousand horsepower rental unit that we just got done with, um, putting it together, getting it all ready to go out to the next customer. We actually have the everlasting blowdown, which blowdown valves, which looks like these. And why don't we talk a little bit about what type of valve this is and, and, and why for blowdown? Why, why do they use this for the blowdown? Yeah, the, the everlasting is probably the most common valve in the industry to use out there. Uh, it's been around forever, it's very reliable, it holds up everywhere. This is a knife blade type, uh, so you have a, a pair of, of sealing flanges like this, you have a knife blade that goes down inside of them to seal. It's wedge shaped, so it does a really good job of sealing off, and then it's self-cleaning. When you open it up and you flush, it cleans all that stuff out of it, so it, you don't have a, a, a groove in there that stays full of, of sediment that won't seal back off. So it's a, it's a real nice design. As you know, the um, when we're actually uh, having a boiler and you get the sludge in it and it's it's obviously creating a bunch of sludge like you talked about in our design that we've got here we actually I'm seeing two everlasting valves here mm -hmm. uh, why don't you walk through our setup and why we've set this up this way yeah this is this is the code issue you have to have double valves on the bottom blowdown on, on on any high pressure boiler and you also have to have at least one of them has to be slow you can put two slow valves but one of them has to be a slow valve, and the reason for that is so you don't shock that boiler. If you take that, that valve and you shut it back off real quick, open it up real quick, you're going to shock the boiler, and you don't, you don't, you just, you just can't do that. You'll, you end up destroying the boiler. Now, and why are, why do we have two back here? One, one, one for the front, and one for the back. We, the boiler is so long that, and this is, it, it's not a code issue. It's an issue that we have on our unit that we want this. We want to be able to clean both ends of the boiler. This boiler itself is 30 feet long. We can't pull the sludge from the front of the boiler to the back with that rear blowdown. Okay. So we put one in the front and one in the back, blow each one down separately, that keeps all the sludge out of the boiler itself. Now this particular design is not, I mean it's a common design, but then there's other designs where you may use a, a ball valve and a Y globe valve. Right, right. The, 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 the knife blade valve is very common, but you can also use just a standard full port ball valve for your quick valve. And then they have a, a sloping valve that's a Y pattern. Um, <clears throat> the, the valve handles and stem sets in like this, where the valve is, is this direction. But but that's a valve used very commonly as well. But it's a low pressure type. You can't get over you know 250 pound design with that that style of valve. Okay. So I know on the uh, on the arm here it actually says open first, close last. It right. Does. So. Why don't, why don't you walk through that and show exactly what you would do on a blowdown uh, and then maybe talk about time and how long that you, yep. you actually blow down a, a boiler. Yep. You'll make sure you have the slow valve closed before you start. You open the quick valve, full open, then you open the slow. Okay. Open it up. When you get it full open, and, and the, the time frame is all dependent on the concentrations in the boiler, chemical guy is going to tell you what that is. Okay. That can be from four to seven seconds, typically, that you'll have this valve open, then you'll close it back off. When you have it completely <coughs> closed, you close the quick valve, then you open this one back up to relieve the pressure between these valves. Mm. Open that back up. Then you seal this one back off again. When you get that done, then you, you've got the front valve. We, all we did was blow down the back. Then you gotta blow down the front one. Same procedure, open this one, open this one, close this one, close this one, open this one again to drain it, close it back off. And then you're done. Then you're done. Yep. And so all that sludge that you're getting out of the boiler, why is that a good thing for a boiler? Well, you, if you don't get it out, it's going to continue to build up until the concentrations get so high, it will start collecting on the tubes, the rear tube sheet, the Morrison tube, you end up overheating the boiler and burning it up. That's what you end up doing. And then you're calling us. And then you're calling us because <laughs> yours is down, you need this thing at your site. <laughs> That's right. Or calling for from a repair standpoint exactly. get us in there and, and uh, obviously very expensive so blowdown so very important 
appreciate you hanging out with us. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. We're testing this unit here at Ware, and this is what always fires me up, obviously, because we got good steam rolling, getting this thing, this, this puppy ready to go. Well, appreciate Steven hanging out with us. Don't forget that blowdown is so very important. It's something that you want to do in, uh, as a common practice to make sure you're blowing down your boiler. If you ever need one of those everlasting valves, you can always check out boilerwarehouse.com, and they've got those valves there for you. Well, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, if you don't mind, maybe share a video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a blessed day. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.